something that we have done with our program here is create what we call a song-based approach. And that's where we, we really make the lesson fun and engaging. It's about the instrument. It's less intimidating to the student and to the parent. And it's more of an opportunity to feel comfortable with the instrument and to enjoy music as a lifelong passion and hobby. Um, but at the same time, learning technique and theory and how to read music and everything else to be well-rounded. big goal is to make music accessible to people. But there's always that thought of, I can't do that, or we don't have time, or you know, all those things that might keep you from uh, moving forward with something. And that's why I think our biggest goal is to just say, look how easy this is, look how fun this is. We really individualize the lesson to each person. And what that gives us the opportunity to do is it, a young girl wants to pick up um, guitar and she loves Taylor Swift and we can teach her everything she needs to know about the instrument um, and then about music as whole, how to read music and, and everything else. But we can do it through uh, Taylor Swift songs and through the approach in that so when she's practicing it doesn't feel like she's just sitting down doing a chore, it feels like she is a part of music and a part of that song. We love seeing any student come in, whether it's someone who's played before, never played before, any age, and trying to figure out where they want to go with music and do whatever it takes to get them there. I think another incredible thing is just seeing a student brighten up when they walk in for their very first music lesson and they walk out the door and they're playing a song. Um, and so being able to play some of their favorite songs and being able to see kind of the other side of the fence of music is it's a pretty incredible thing. One of my favorite joys of being a teacher is a student can walk in and they can be in any season of life and just as we play music all that fades and it's refreshing and they're, they're, they're leaving happier than they were when they walked in. I look forward to my lessons a lot because I know I'm going to have fun and I'm going to learn music. I like my teacher, Mr. Tom, a lot. He is goofy yet gets things done. He's generous and he gives up my time and he likes playing with me and I like playing with him. Hunter can even be kind of in a slump and not feeling like, hey, you know, it's been the best day, but he goes into that lesson room and comes up out and we don't know what happens with that mandolin and Mr. Tom just working the magic and so he comes out just a different kid. I've seen teenagers that come in from like a long day of school and they leave in a better mood um, just because music has that like therapeutic aspect to it. And now the fact that I can share that with my students is, is incredibly rewarding. One of the great musical myths that I hear quite often is that I'm not skilled or talented enough to learn the instrument. Um, I don't have a musical bow to my body and I can tell you that that is wrong. I have seen people of all different walks of life and different skill levels learn instruments. It just takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of effort. I would love the opportunity to prove to you that you can learn an instrument. Uh, just sign up with us, give us a chance, and I guarantee that we can get you moving on the right track.